Once you start working with containers, you will probably realize that sometimes it's better to split your software into multiple components, uh, each with its own container image. This may happen, for example, because different parts of your system have different release cycles, or uh, also because for some of them, uh, for example, a web-based user interface, uh, you use runtimes and other technologies that may require a security update to be updated quickly and often. Once you have uh, split your system into multiple containers, uh, you will have the problem of starting them uh, in the right order and keep them running together. Docker Compose uh, is designed to solve exactly this issue. Uh, there are also other uh, orchestrators uh, like Kubernetes, but those are uh, designed to provide also uh, load balancing and redundancy. Uh, that are probably good for uh, cloud-based service, uh, but less applicable uh, on a small and resource-constrained device. Uh, Docker Compose can be configured using a simple text file that is named Docker Compose YAML usually. Uh, this file, uh, in this file you describe the uh, services, the containers you want to run, and for each container you provide an image tag and uh, some runtime settings like mount points, devices, uh, ports exposed, and additional networks. You can also uh, specify the dependency uh, of each service, and Docker Compose will figure out the best starting order by itself. Uh, in the Docker Compose file, uh, you can also specify Docker volumes, and those can be useful to store data permanently on your device file system. Uh, by define, uh, defining networks, uh, you can also have some of your containers communicating only on private networks. Uh, this will help you secure uh, your system by not exposing services to the outside when it's not needed.